गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट्स कम टू द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ फ्रॉड दैट विल बी कवरिंग विथ आधार ई साइन वेर अ कस्टमर यूजेस समवन एल्स इज आधार और डी एस सी टोकन टू ई साइन टू सिड आर डायरेक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट सिड वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉट आर द चैलेंजेस एंड हाउ डू वी एक्जैक्टली सॉल्व फॉर इट सो आदित्य आई थिंक the key to understanding how this aspect of fraud works and how we can mitigate it is to first understand how uh, on the ground aadhar really works especially in tier 2 india or rural india right uh, typically whilst we have a very high degree of aadhar penetration in the country we do have instances where multiple aadhar numbers are linked to a common mobile number that shared with the entire family right not everyone in the family may have a separate smartphone may not have a separate mobile number etc so in that context it's really important to understand that it is entirely possible right that when you are contracting with another party that party there is a risk that they may intentionally or inadvertently end up using somebody else's app and from a contracting standpoint one of the key security things that you have to bear in mind is that you are always contracting with the right person right? and in an enforcement scenario in a compliance scenario in an audit scenario you will need to demonstrate that you have taken the right steps to ensure that the right person is actually signing the doc now the good news here is that aadhar and dsc signatures which are widely used in the country today these of obviously come with inbuilt uh, fraud prevention tools right aadhar has an inbuilt authentication mechanism that requires you to enter an otp to make sure that the right person is authenticating however typically you would need some extra protections in place right uh, because of the context that we just discussed right and that's where legality it comes in and that's where we actually add an additional layer of security that helps you protect against a scenario where somebody else's aadhar is being used so let's actually take a look at how this happens ancha can you just let me screen share is my screen visible not yet sid i uh, now it's visible okay cool you can see the legality dashboard right not yet now we can okay perfect so here very quickly to just dive into what we are trying to look at here now let's say that we want to get a document e signed and we want to get the signature from somya gakhar right that's the right person who needs to sign the document we are going to enable the aadhar e sign for this particular signature now to prevent any risk that somebody else other than somya signs the document you have a number of verification options in legal only somya's aadhar uh, is used using name verification right what happens here is that when aadhar e sign happens we look at this digital signature certificate we saw, we see the name of the signer and we match that against the name that you have inputted Right. So the matching will happen against the name Somya Bakhar. In addition to that, you can also enable something called smart name verification. Smart name verification is a more sophisticated version of name verification, which accounts for the fact that sometimes there may be minor differences in the name as is captured in the Aadhar versus the name that may be in your system, right? And in the name of fraud prevention, you don't want to inconvenience your genuine customers. so you can enable smart name verification smart name verification allows you to set a threshold of acceptance so let's say that the names are matching at a threshold of 80% you want to accept it right whatever the threshold is is entirely configurable we'll take a look at that later as well right so these are the two primary modes of verification to ensure that the right person is signing the document now in addition to this there are also other parameters against which you can carry out verification right which is pin code year of birth last four digit state and gender right because at the end of the day with name there is some potential subjectivity always so you can pair name verification with one of these other parameters that are likelier to be more objective right like for instance gender verification is a very useful threshold to have along with name verification to make sure that the right person is signing the document right so let's just see how this works in practice i'm putting the gender as male and we have enabled name verification here now if we go ahead and proceed to the signing journey
is the signing journey visible aditya yes so one important thing is that the signer's name intended signer in this hypothetical scenario is soumya gakkar said what are you entering now whose aadhar now, are you entering now okay your i am entering a different aadhar i am entering my personal aadhar so this is an aadhar which is in the name of siddhant ramachandran right so this is the case which which often happens in real life where somebody else's aadhar is being used to sign the document just waiting for an otp to come through Okay, we have it. Okay, so I've completed my authentication process, and we are now waiting for a redirection back to legality. So here you see that an error occurred, right? We prevented the signing from going through because the verification details don't really match what in the way that you want it, right? Here, obviously, because the name of the signer was different, right? So this. is an example of how legality can help you prevent e sign fraud and ensure that the right person is signing the document right not just this you can also then check what exactly went wrong in the system so from within the legality board you will be uh, said uh, i think exactly the last 30 last happen. 20 seconds you'll have to repeat said you'll have yeah, to repeat yeah. the last 20 seconds your voice got cut in the last 20 seconds you'll have to repeat the explanation sure 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 no worries so what i was saying was that once verification is completed and let's say there is a failure you will actually get logs on the legality dashboard suggesting that something went wrong right and you will be able to then take a, appropriate actions right so not only does fraud get prevented you are also alerted within your systems both on the dashboard and if you are an api customer then in your systems using our webhooks uh, you'll get real time notifications indicating that a fraud happened Uh, or or there was a verification rather so that you can then appropriately take care of the uh, process right sid there's one question uh, related to this feature uh, yes. are the error messages customizable that's a very interesting that, that's a very interesting suggestion for now it's not because these error messages are actually standard across all customers right this is a esp level message right that is standard across the industry we don't really allow for customization of this message but however this is something that we can definitely look into if there are cogent reasons why you would want a custom message to be displayed here we can definitely look into in, into that uh, i think one As thing is though for the customers facing so like customers and i think local language can be used right for one of the error messages local language can be used for all the error messages yeah so while the content the message text itself can't be customizable the language can definitely yeah. be customizable by that's legality right. that's right that's uh, great right. one more question on safeguarding the otps against common mobile numbers we will come to this there's actually another feature that solves for this and we'll come to that in a bit uh someone had asked a question on misuse internal misuse at the client end that's an exact instance of fraud that we will be covering in a, a few minutes perfect perfect uh cool just to square this off legality allows you additional configurability so the flow that we saw here just now was one where the signing did not happen at all right we blocked the signature but on legality's dashboard you can actually customize the way you want this to happen so if you want uh, signatures to go through and then have a manual you can actually set the config here to expert respond breakage or a, a drop off in the signing journey the journey always gets completed you will get a automated notification in your system that and and then you can control the next steps accordingly so this is again a very popular configuration that allows uh, customers to balance fraud protection with speed and efficiency as well anjav you can so i think said there is also one new feature like a new evolution of this feature ai powered smart name verification can you explain yeah. that in a minute yeah this is something that we've been working on for the last few months something that we are very excited about 
smart name verification as it currently exists in our application uses a number of different string matching technologies and other custom logics to give a percentage match between two strings right so it accounts for cases where for instance there is a salutation that can create a mismatch like doctor or mrs or shrimati it also accounts for cases where there are minor spelling mistakes but there is a lot more to name verification here in india typically there are instances for example where names are just jumbled or abbreviations are present in the name just because of different naming conventions in different states and for different id cards so smart name verific or ai powered smart name verification actually accounts for a lot of these custom situations that you actually see on the ground in india and gives you a score that is predictive of actual similarity between bit between two different names which which goes much beyond just string similarity so that's something that we are working on that gives you further sophistication in terms of how you are protecting yourself against fraud while at the same time not compromising on efficiency and not causing a problem for genuine customers